Good day and welcome back to another DB Legends video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how, well, my build in terms of future for the Battle Royale. Now, as you guys know, or if you don't, Battle Royale is basically a game mode whereby you can only utilize characters of the required typing. So you can only use characters that essentially are of the future category or future tag. You cannot use characters that belong to other tags, not even for boosting. But you will obtain a Battle Royale medal should you win. And you will obtain, well, 500 ranking points for the Battle Royale season. You don't get crazy rewards with Battle Royale medals or just in general. It's more of a bragging rights thing, I guess, at least you know, on the surface level. But there is also some additional uh, you know, kind of benefits that players can get. You can you know, do a lot. You can obviously have quite a bit of fun uh, just playing the game modes and enjoying yourself. And yeah, there is at least a decent amount of enjoyment that you can get out of it. You know? So it just depends how into the category you are. The main goal for doing this is, you know, like 300 Chrono Crystals uh, and the title, the bragging rights that come with it. Now, the thing with Battle Royale is there are usually some kind of adjustments that are made to the characters that can be used. So, for example, in this case, uh, characters have 30% more health if they are a fusion warrior character. So pretty straightforward uh, this is my team as you guys can imagine I'm using ultra rare Vegito blue uh, and I'm also using ultra Goku black because you know want to be as cancerous as possible I guess but yeah basically you know for the most part I think if you're someone who's interested bring your best team and the thing is is that you're gonna see a lot of the same teams especially at the highest level so, you know, feel free to either copy or adjust as necessary. Uh, I'm not traditionally the greatest PvP player. I do enjoy it, I'm just not necessarily the best at it. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys might enjoy my build. So, that kind of covers it. Uh, if you do lose, you lose 500 ranking points. But in theory, you should play worse players. So, there is that, you know, side of the spectrum. In theory, you shouldn't be facing players that are as good. So you should end up having more chance of winning, which means in theory, you should have more chance of obtaining the you know, requisite rewards. Now, the thing is, is you can only play uh, within certain hours of the day. So you need to find a time zone that suits you. And you obtain two attempts per day. Now, you don't need to play those two attempts per day. You can play those attempts whenever. You can save them all for the final day and play like 10 matches in a row if you want to. It's not absolutely necessary, but yeah, just to say that there is like a little bit of a window that you have to find yourself some room to play in. But beyond that, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not too much else, it's just standard PvP. Yeah, I always kind of find that personally, for me, I'd rather they... I'd always rather they make it a separate game mode uh that's like outside of the ranked season but it seems like they don't plan on changing it for a while so it's just going to depend if you're someone who's picked up a couple of the future characters or you just you know like future as a category it's always a good chance to pick yourself up some pretty good rewards and yeah as you can see uh, i'm using the red uh well the red you know good old used half corrupted Zamasu and main reason being uh, it's just a cool cool unit and he gets a 30% health buff so thought it might be cool to try him out plus I could double buff uh, him whilst also single Zenkai buffing uh, Ultra VB so that's pretty cool but yeah beyond that that basically covers everything uh, you need to know obviously guys just try your best if you you know can't find yourself a good team to play it's not really a big problem uh, and if you don't feel like playing the game mode, it's never really a big issue. And yeah, that's uh, basically going to cover everything for me. There are some missions. Uh, if you are someone that's interested in finishing missions or or anything of that nature, 
There are some missions for the amount of matches that you play, and these missions will drop you some slot removers. Uh, you can find these missions under the special missions tab. And yeah, slot removers are a nice little bonus at least. Uh, slot removers are always something that's valuable, you know, especially if you are someone that's uh, you know, always looking for slot removers. So yeah, uh, pretty good stuff. But beyond that, that's basically my build for Legends Battle Realm. Let me know what build you're going for down below, uh, or if you would tweak anything, or you know, basically if you, how you're doing, or what rank, or if you, you're know, keen on this one. And yeah, that basically covers it. But I'll probably see you guys in the next one. Uh, until then, of course, bye.